Hi everybody, I'm back. Um, okay, so we've got the UT thing going. This is Janice, by the way. If you're just finding my channel, this is our... We're just playing around here with um, unmounting wood-mounted blocks and making them into cling mount and our UT. Totally unrelated, just having a fun time trying things out. I've added some red Ranger Rich Red embossing powder and it's actually melted and I'm going to go ahead and kind of mix it up a little bit and there's a little bit of glitter in there. UT um, takes on an amber color after it's been cooking for a while. So I didn't really like the look of it in our little star mold here. So I'm going to go ahead now and pour me another star and pour another flower and pour another one of these. These are from Martha Stewart it, um, in the fondant down in the cake aisle. Now Michaels now is carrying the crafter's clay and the molds for the crafter's clay in the Martha Stewart paper craft aisle. So check that out at your Michaels because those are really cool. There's an alphabet, there's butterflies and flowers and fruit. So I'd love to teach a class on that. I hope we offer something like that. That would be cool. going to pour, let's see, which one do I want to do? There's like a little rose right here. I'm gonna, don't need much in this mold. It's not very deep. Just like that. Oops. I just dropped it on. And then we're going to do the rest. In here, we'll do the small, smallish flower. Just poured some, and it went. Okay. I'm just gonna push it a little bit so it goes into the sides. And then let's see what happened with our, okay, so this one is the Aileen's, very sticky, and it's kind of left a little bit of residue here on my block, but it seems like I can go ahead and rub it off with my fingers, and of course, alcohol would do the trick, and then the Tombow does the same thing. Now what that would do over time and how it would, because I store mine in a little binder, so I'm wondering if it's going to leave a residue on my, um, see I have these, these are just cardstock that I laminated. So I don't know how it will do in here. I'm just going to try it down here and see what happens. Let's see if I have, what are you looking for? What, what, what are you looking for? I, don't, I put it in your room. I put it in your room, honey. Okay, so we'll put that one there. And we'll check it. And if I forget, just ask me what's the status on those uh, cling mount stamps done with the Aileen's and the Tombow. So, um, 
I don't think that's dry, honestly. Let's see how this one's doing. I'm going to pop it out onto here. Cute, cute, cute. Cute. And there's another cute one. Now, there's a little bit of a... This is going to make a beautiful um, flower center. Look how pretty that is. Of course, my lighting is terrible, but oh, that's fantastic. Oh, that just makes me want to go buy the, um, there's an ocean one that Robin got. I mean, you know, we said we we're going to share them, and I know that we will, so that's it. I'm done. I don't want to buy anything else. I've been shopping like a crazy woman. And then there's that rose. Ho oh, ho ho, that's lovely. And then here's the ice tray. I got one of these for Robin too. So see, that's better. I like that better. And then I'm just going to cut all these little edges off. So there you go, and that can be used for anything. School pages, sports pages, 4th of July pages, space pages, just you name it. All the things that you would use a star embellishment for. So that's it. Just wanted to share those two things, and thank you so much for asking me questions and just the interaction. I love that back and forth interaction. So ask me anything. Challenge me. Um... That's what friendship is about. So thanks again for watching. Bye.